Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois, and want to talk to you about this upcoming celestial event, the planetary alignment, just before the new moon. Has anyone else beside me noticed that time is going very fast? I mean, here we are, it's already going to be June. Another thing that you may have noticed in the past few days, have you felt yourself have low energy? Did you nap? Did you feel like napping in the past couple of days? Well, there is a reason. And the reason is the change of the season. Now, there's other things that should go with your season change. We like to talk about this in more detail and help you with this about how are you going to grow? What are you growing? What do you need to shine a light on? Because this past full moon, that was super intense. And now you might feel like you slumped down, right? Well, we have a little thing here to show you about that upcoming thing. The rare alignment of planets and how this can pertain to the divine masculine and the divine feminine. So starting actually on Friday, May 31st in the morning, this slide is borrowed from earthsky.org. I love them because they always have a lot of great information for astronomers. You can see that the planets are in this type of alignment. Now this is gonna go on for a few days where this is visible. It's along the ecliptic. And you have Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus, Mars, Neptune, Saturn. That's a lot. And there we are, the star attraction, Earth, of course. Oh, sorry. So on June 3rd, six planets, including Jupiter, Mercury, Uranus, Mars, Neptune, and Saturn, will momentarily align on the ecliptic path. However, experts say they will not all be visible from Earth with the naked eye. You're going to need a telescope to see all of it, but you're going to probably feel it. This is another depiction of this. Um, this is via Getty Images. And... That's what it looks like, uh, you know, if you were to draw the line here. Now, let's go back here. And we have all these planets. Here's us, Earth, 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 Earth. Okay. Some of you can't see it, but some of these places have been healing centers for you. And they do have healing, massive healing energies for you. You're going to feel it. You might feel a little pummeled by the energy. It might feel like a plunge. So what is some of this energy? Well, we're going to do a little juxtaposing here. Mercury is a capricious, but it is also enabling you a second look at things. We don't always get second or third chances. When it comes to your twin flame ascension, you always get a second chance, a third chance to put that one foot forward and take that one baby step in the direction of your ascension. Stop looking at the closed door. Stop looking behind you. Stop repeating the past because you really can't repeat it. What other energies are significant for you? What is your benevolent planetary influence here for yourself, your life, you, the ones you love, the one you love? Mars, is it bellicose and belligerent? That's a heavy masculine energy, or is it defending and protective? Jupiter, it could be wildly unpredictable where you have to just deal with whatever happens, or it can surprise and delight you. Neptune, now sometimes Neptune, this energy, if it were a man, this man would be, you know, that kind of dreamer that is never able to have a pot literally a pot to call home, pot to piss and as they say. Or is it someone who's a big thinker? Are they a self-sacrificing person, but they don't self-sabotage? Okay, you have to be careful with some of these because when it applies to people, sometimes people can be very sabotaging of themselves 
and their efforts and very negligent of their own ascension. Saturn is a grandfatherly. Saturn and Jupiter both have sort of a fatherly type of thing without being patriarchal or patronizing. Or is it gentlemanly? You know, in the true sense of what we think of as a gentleman. Uh, is it honorable? Is it forthright? Is it honest? Is it, you know, forthcoming? Is it helpful? Is it guiding? Or what is it? What is it doing for you? Uranus, this can be a very deep brooding energy. These are, if it's a person, this is a person who is prone to, you know, being, you know, somebody who's a little troubled. They can be in a form of grief that they don't even know about. They might have addictions or something. Or are they a deeply caring person? Are they a person that has these qualities and yet they feel vulnerable? They're afraid to show the world. How can this help you? How can you bring this out of your twin? So there are ways that we do this. So the new moon is a time for growth in the dark. So the planetary alignment is happening first. The new moon, a time for growth in the dark. Just like all of the beautiful plants, vegetables, and flowers of the late season after the summer solstice. Now this energy is preceding the summer solstice. And you are in very much of a time acceleration here. So what do you need to grow for yourself? What doors to open? Where is the light at the end of the tunnel? How long is this going to take for you? What to grow, what to know, how do we align the heart and mind? What needs to shine in your life? So please join our three-day mini workshop to best utilize these energies and find out how the influence of each can begin to fill your cup. And that means your heart with joy and abundance each push of these energies is intended to help melt away the things that limit you. Please come learn and use this time wisely. Do it before the summer solstice and the season change. This is where you plant the seeds in the dark of the moon. And you expect changes in your coming season. So please don't wither on the vine. Hydrate and join us. And just a couple other things here. The rare planetary alignment, which is intended to open doors, shift energy to be beneficial and productive. Please be careful walking. Take care. Do not be hasty. And join us. So please join us. And the links are down below. We hope to see you there. We're always here to help people on their journey. I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame located in Chicago, Illinois, and we have good stuff to help you. We do this live so that you can actually ask questions, get answers and guidance, and it's a really good time in a safe space with people that are just like you, wanting to know how to best navigate their journey and learn, really, because this truly is the newest thing under the sun. So I hope to see you there. Reach out to me with your questions and have a good day. Bye.